The game starts now. Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining me today for some gratuitous seal clubbing. That's right, folks. The uh, the way that Destroyer gameplay has been going lately, I've been kind of frustrated, like a lot of Destroyer players out there. Uh, I'm just not really even playing any Destroyers above, say, Tier 4, Tier 5 right now. And even Tier 5 is kind of iffy. Just with the proliferation of radar out there, uh, Wargaming is working on it. They, they have heard us. They do know that it's a little OP right now. Uh, they, they are working to balance it. But for right now, I just needed something to make me feel good about myself. So I shamelessly reclaimed my Dirtsky. This is... Let's take a look at the lineup right quick. This is on the map ring in domination mode. We are in a tier 4 battle. Each team has... Looks like three destroyers and two uh, aircraft carriers. There we go. All right, so starting out this match, being that we have three destroyers on our team and there's a clubson up to the north heading toward A, I decided I was going to go down and assist the Wicks at D. I have no idea what we're heading into. This Dursky, I just reclaimed. Uh, the commander on it only has uh, priority target. Don't even have last stand on it yet. So I am running premium consumables and... The Dursky. The Dursky is an amazing, one, one of my favorite destroyers out there. Um, easily, easily one of the best SEAL clubs. This one at Tier 3, and then the Clemson at Tier 4. Those are, are two of probably the best low-tier SEAL clubs in the game. The Dursky's guns are decent when used against other destroyers. I, most of your damage on these ships is going to come from your torpedoes. This ship boasts... 10, or I'm sorry, 5 double launchers allowing you to place 10 torpedoes at a time at a target with a 15 second reload. Now the torpedoes are kind of slow in the water. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but just the, no, the amount of torpedoes that you can pump out in rapid succession makes this a devastating ship. You only have a 4 kilometer range though, so you have to play a little bit more aggressively than you would most other destroyers, but your speed and your maneuverability are a bonus. Now heading into A, the Clemson, the enemy Clemson is already here. He's pulling up on the other side of this island. We are air detected. We're going to go ahead and slow down because we don't want any part of this Phoenix up ahead of us. He's not really paying us any attention right now though. Trying to put out a few gunshots on him, maybe start a fire. Not really expecting these guns to do too much. Keeping an eye on the map, we see that the enemy Clemson is just camping on the other side of the island, but he is creeping up on us, so we need to keep an eye on him. We don't want him slipping around the corner. His guns can really wreck our day. So we're going to slide out and try to engage this guy. Our friendly carrier just dropped a torpedo spread on him. So we're going to add to his misery and throw out just a couple of torpedoes heading the other way. I don't expect those to hit, but we want to keep him panicked start engaging him with our guns. Now in a Russian destroyer, when you are engaging an American, you want to engage him at range, about a mid-range, so that uh, we got one hit, one uh, shell penetration, started, started him on fire. But yeah, you don't want to close in, you really don't want to knife fight an American destroyer if you're in a Russian destroyer. They're just going to, they're going to outturn you, their turret traverse is far superior, they're uh, reload time is superior, so just take your time, kite away from them, and you should do okay. So now we have some backup here. Friendly Caledon, Friendly Clemson have joined the match, so we're going to press on the enemy Clemson here and see if we can't take him out. We need to be aware, though, we have a Friant coming in from, looks like, the west side up there. We definitely don't want any part of his guns. He has good torpedoes as well. There's a Miyogi, King, uh, Koing Albert coming in. All right, paying attention to those torpedoes. We want to start cutting away, open up the distance on them, keep engaging with the guns. Okay, we're going to break off. 
just easily dodge those torpedoes. We want to pay them all the respect they're due. Oh, look, we have a St. Louis. S. Duffney heading, in, heading into our cap. Now, I should have turned off my... Uh, we got our, our first assisted capture there. I should have turned off my anti-air before then. It would have helped my detectability. But we're going to yellow charge this St. Louis. The four kilometer torpedoes on these, on the Dursky, really uh, rewards a more aggressive playstyle. Just use your maneuverability, try to outturn their guns. This guy is sailing in a straight line, as people often do at lower tiers. So we're going to reward his behavior with a full broadside of 10 torpedoes. But why, be, why be stingy with a 15 second reload time? Let's give them all away. Now we did take some damage there, more than needed, but go ahead and start to dodge. You can see the superior maneuverability there coming into play, and those are all looking good. And boom goes the dynamite. Dev strike, first kill, five torpedoes. And look, there's Mr. Clemson hiding behind a rock. Hello, Mr. Clemson. Goodbye. All right, kill number two. That was a crime of opportunity right there. I don't feel too bad about taking him, though, because we did engage him. We did put, you know, three, four thousand worth of damage on him. Now, that Wyoming, we have his attention, and that's not a good thing. Oh, man, nearly missed. Somebody's shooting at us from behind. All right, we're going to drop our smoke screen. Look at this Freon. The Freon is coming in uh, right at us, so what we're going to do... Back up. Get him within our torpedo arcs. He's firing blind. He doesn't detect us yet. But the Freon's guns traverse so slow, he is not going to be able to shoot at us again. Just keep moving backwards. And yes, give him all ten torpedoes. Boom! Kill number two. Oh, there come the Freon's torps. Uh, we're good to go. Alright. Cool. That could have been bad. That would have ended our day. Alright, so we're already up by three kills. So now we're going to reassess this situation. And at some point during this game, there I go, I finally wise up and turn off my AA. All right, so D is captured. We have the Wyoming, the Coing Albert. We don't know where the two uh, carriers are at this point. Last time we saw the enemy destroyers, they were the Dursky and the, G, the G101 up by A. And there, our carrier has spotted them, so they're still back up there. So what we're going to need to do is try to take C. All right. So we're going to start spinning around here. We realize we really don't know what we're driving into. So as we come around, start facing C, we're going to kick in our speed boost because we want to get over there as quickly as possible. I had a feeling that those enemy destroyers might be heading down towards C, at least one of them. And we really don't want a knife fight, especially not being at under half health. So I didn't realize it at first, but one of the uh, friendly fighter groups is moving into C to scout it, and he spots both uh, enemy carriers. And you see, I put out a, a call there, can a carrier please spot C? Kill shot's already on it, so I give him thanks. All right, so now our primary objective is to take C. Uh, we are up sub just substantially on points at this time. But because we are even on the caps, we want to really kind of tilt this in our favor if we can. Remember, as a destroyer, one of your primary objectives is to capture uh, capture the bases. So what we're going to do here, go ahead and slow down. And we're going to deploy our smoke. So looking eyeballing this Langley he doesn't seem to be paying any attention to us he again is sailing in a straight line so as our smoke comes off cooldown we're gonna consider deploying that anytime now there we go now we're gonna let this uh, Langley we're trying to kind of parallel the Langley's course a little bit we want him to sail into our torpedo range Friendly Caledon is coming in. The Clemson is moving around the island. And we're going to lose spotting here for just a minute. But he's going to pop back in. So while we're waiting for him to come into torpedo range, we're going to go ahead and open up on him with guns. We want to try to uh, light him on fire. Now, I do have to give it to Tiger Eagle. 
by him entering this calf, he is delaying our taking this calf. Uh, he's out of. He looks like he's out of planes. So he is doing the best that he can by attempting to just prevent us from taking this capture point. There, he just crossed the four kilometer threshold. 3.9 kilometers. We are going to give him a present he will not forget. Yes, all 10 torpedoes out. It looks like the Dursky is coming down uh, back toward D. So we're going to spin around and we're going to try to head toward that uh, Wyoming and Hosho and try to take them as well. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Almost caught a secondary hit there. Dev Strike, solo cap. All right, so that is kill number four. 12 torpedo hits already, and there's Mr. Hosho. Hello, Mr. Hosho. And there's that Wyoming. Wyoming has been hurt seriously. I believe that we can probably take them both. Frailings are continuing to open up on that Wyoming. We take a peek at him. We are undetected, so obviously he is not paying us any attention. The Hosho is starting to turn in, turn right toward us. So he's going to help us out there a little bit. We're detected. He's still not really looking at us, or he just fired. So we're going to take the opportunity and try to head toward the back side of this island so that if he does look at us, and it looks like his guns are starting to turn a bit, if he does start looking at us, this island will be able to mask us a bit, and we should be able to outturn his turrets for a while. We're going to head out on the uh, port side of this Hosho. We're going to get right up on him and torp him. This is to, uh, I did this so that I could ensure, one, that all my torpedoes hit, but also so I could use the Hosho sinking hull to kind of mask my approach on that Wyoming. That was just kind of what I was thinking. Oh man, there we go. And we're about to win on points. Can we get him? No, we can't. <laughs> All right, folks. Boy, I needed that. That was fun. With the way uh, Destroyer play has been happening at the higher tiers, mid-tier, high-tier lately with all the, the radar, I really needed some time at a lower tier to feel good about my Destroyer play again. So let's take a look at this breakdown. We had 149,273 credits. 2,568 experience, 129 free experience, three devastating strikes, Kraken Unleashed. We dealt 87,253 damage. That's not bad for, for a uh, Tier 3 fight. Or actually, it was Tier 3, Tier 4 fight. Uh, let's see. We had 29 shells on target with 20 penetrations, 18 torpedo hits with causing 8 floods, Two incapacitations, five kills, one fire, two cap defense, one solo cap, and one assisted cap. And there's that Wyoming man with that 15 second reload time. Reload time, we were about to just drop another 10 torpedoes on that Wyoming. Timer was not on our side for that one. So looking at the leaderboard, we did pick up MVP by a fairly substantial margin. And if you look on the enemy team, their MVP was also in a Dursky. Dursky just works. It is a great SEAL club. All right. The detail report, we absolutely wrecked the Hosho and the Langley. Took out both their carriers. We wrecked the St. Louis, dropped a bomb on that Friant, and the Clemson. We ended his day. That was a crime of opportunity there. I will admit it, but I t I'll take that any day. Uh, we put a little bit of damage on that Phoenix and bounce shells off ZZ Top's Wyoming there. Let's see. Uh, this goes to show you guys, we got 29 shells on target with our main battery firing high explosives, and it only did 8,000 worth of damage. In the Dursky, your primary source of damage income is going to be your torpedoes. Those are your bread and butter. But at only I mean, 78,000 out of 18 torpedoes, man, that, that a tier three destroyer, that is insane. But you have to understand that you are limited by your four kilometer range. So you're going to have to play, let's say cautiously aggressive. You cannot hang out in the rear and try to snipe in a dirt ski. It will not work. You have to use your speed. You have to use your maneuverability to try to outturn uh, larger ships guns to get within firing range. And just drop those torpedoes. Drop the full salvo. Come on, you have a 15-second reload, reload time. Are you kidding me? 
you know, don't, don't, don't be afraid to put out all 10 torques is what I'm saying. All right. There's a look at the credits and XP. Uh, I feel a lot better about myself right now. And, uh, thanks for joining me, folks. I look forward to seeing you next time. And I look forward to playing with you in game.